First, uh, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us why we're here? My name is Melanie Papalia, and we are here for the world premiere of Home Her at South by Southwest. Now, I saw the first two episodes, uh, very entertaining. Um, I was actually very surprised because you, you hear about a show and you kind of get the general premise. And it's kind of like, well, a couple has a threesome, and you kind of go to that immediate taboo kind of place. And it really wasn't that kind of, of show. Um, how would you describe the series? Oh, gosh. Um, that's hard because I feel like they can be described in a few different ways, but it's you're, you're taking uh, real people and putting them in a situation that really could happen to anyone and kind of asking what if. I think the show really is about what if this was your circumstance, um, what would you do? Now, your character, we, we briefly meet her in the first two episodes. What's something that we can look forward to seeing from your character in the future? Uh, a great friendship with uh, Priscilla Faye's character, Izzy. A great, great friendship. I think that no one uh, really knew what was going to happen with that, and it sort of turned into this, like, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's a team, it's like a beautiful relationship. Um, we see teams laughing. I mean, there's, it kind of takes, the series sort of takes you on a journey. I think we kind of, as we see Priscilla's character, Izzy, um, lose it a bit more. We see a bit more from from Nina, kind of trying to pick up the pieces of her friend. Now, what do you hope that the audience that gives the show a chance takes away from it? I mean, I hope they enjoy it. I hope, but I also hope that it kind of asks them a question, you know, going the what if. I think that's sort of collectively what we all wanted going into it was to to kind of bring up this crazy situation that these things do happen, just no one really puts it and really talks about it. Um, but but to sort of, yeah, to, to ask what if. I mean, there are so many shows these days that just don't make you think at all. And I mean, we obviously want this show to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. We want people to look forward to watching it every week. But also to kind of, I don't know, maybe think outside, think outside the box. Do you think this will kind of make the whole threesome concept more socially acceptable? I mean, you think no, this is kind of, kind of... I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think, uh, that's, that's a hard question, you know, it's like, because I don't want to tell anyone what is acceptable mm -hmm. in their life and, and, you know, what isn't. Like, I'm a believer to each their own, whatever makes you happy. If, if look, a married couple, that's what they want to do, go for it. Like, you know, be my guest. I think anyone should be able to love or you know, do do whatever they, they want. And, you know, two part consenting adults agree to do that. Um, I I don't know if it will make it more socially acceptable. Um, it'll definitely put it out there. Maybe it'll make people talk about it a little bit more. But I'm not too sure if uh, if people will accept it more. Maybe people are already accepting of it and they just don't know it. Finally, uh, you were on Suits. Uh, you were basically Mike's Donna. Um, for uh, the last season, um, how do you think your character would react to what happened to Mike, and what kind of message would she have for him now that he's in jail? I think she'd be heartbroken. Um, Amy, I mean, Amy's relationship with Mike, she really tried to look after him as much as she could, and respects him so much, so much. She knows how how hard he works, and I think that she would see this. Uh, oh man, she. I just like, oh, I feel, I feel, you know, even thinking about it, I feel for Mike Ross going to jail so much. I think that Amy would try and figure out any way she could to get him out of there. And were you watching as a fan? Did you yeah. still, you were in contact? Yeah. Did you have any clue that this was where no, they were going? No, no, I was watching it just like everyone else. Wow. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time. I thought the first two shows were very entertaining. I hope that the marketing kind of helps because I think it's, it's almost misleading what is being said about what it is versus what it is. Mm -hmm. And I think that could be interpreted by people negatively. And I think if they were to give it a chance, I think it's a very entertaining show. Yeah. Can't wait to see what else happens. I hope, so. I hope people do. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.